Okay, no more zinging. This is some shinobi instead. Oh yeah. Hello and welcome back. The name's Green Link. My Twitch TV channel is called Green Link SD, and now I'm starting my second run of the four games in the ESA 2014. Sign off with Shinobi for Nintendo 3DS, a game that I do play that isn't Mario or Zelda. Surprised. I t I tell you when. It's it's one of those unusual methods I do. I, when I say go, just press the split button. You basically play as Jiro, um, Joe's father, the main character who is the main character from the original arcade and Genesis games. He is summoned to defend his home's village from the ninja forces of Zed. After battle, he is sent 800 years into the future where Zed now rules with an iron fist. Aided by Sarah, the leader of the local resistance, Jiro continues his battle against Zed, and that's all you need to know. I'll be using two metrics for the speed one, one you're gonna see a lot. And when I say go, press the split button. Go! Water magic is a pretty much a must have for the speed run. First of all, you increase your base speed by 25%. You can also spam your shurikens, because um, in this game you technically have infinite amount of shurikens. However, if, it, if, it, if you didn't use water magic, the, sh the shuriken meter will be empty for quite some time if you abuse the shuriken spin attack. But with water magic on, it basically refills as soon as you touch the ground. If you have played Shinobi 3, especially on the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive, it uses most of those techniques from that game. They use the Shinobi 3 game as a template for making this game. So you can perform dive kicks, spin attacks, well, well, notably in this game, you can perform a lot of sword techniques. Well, simple ones, really. Aerial slashes, spin slashes. You see the slashes a lot more often in my speed run um, during the boss fights. I'm usually a lot more focused on this, but this is what most of the time is going to happen. Spin Kunai. On the top right, you will probably see a score meter bonus. The higher the bonus, the more bonus speed I have. Basically, if the time multiplies at times 4, my maximum speed will technically be an extra 5%. That means my maximum overall speed with the times 4 multiplier and water magic active is 155% instead of 100%, which is quite a lot. Now this is a... Oh, oh, I didn't have him before. Okay, this is an auto-scoring section. The only time you can actually lose time is you actually hit a tree. During this part, I actually lose water magic, so what I want to do is actually get my health as low as possible. Probably free for this marathon run, because if I die at any point during this, I have to start this part again, unfortunately. The reason why I'm playing this run at the beginning as well, rather than normal or any higher difficulty, is because I have unlimited lives, and in this one, I'll be death abusing a lot to um, reuse my magic again. There you go, have three from now, of course, I don't want to get any more unintentional hits or marathon luck, as they say. Most of these circular medals are basically points, just for high score runs, nothing else. We're near the end of this auto scoring section. Yeah, this is an idiot. Nice. All right. Because I don't have any water magic effect on me anymore, I gotta kill myself because it's a lot faster that way. There we 
we go. And it can also abuse this attack a lot more often and get my speed meter or point multiplier up again if I try not to take any more hits. I perform a dive kick sometimes to certain. Whoa, that's not before. I perform a dive kick to certain enemies just to increase my score multiplier. One step closer to another speed bonus. You can also parry pretty much any time you want, and if you parry in mid air, you can perform another aerial jump. Ooh. Doesn't matter. That's a little tutorial about how to get through this bit. Shout out to modern games. This is a, kind of a secret route. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, nice. That enemy is so good sometimes. Can I recognize that enemy from Shinobi 3? I have to fight against them a few times in this run. Here comes the power and good use. Oh, come on. There you go. Whenever you perform a power, next time you perform, use a slash attack as a counter slash, which is equivalent to a charge slash. Good thing that was a mini auto scrolling section, so if I lost all my speed bonus, that's a good place to build up my speed again. Now it's just at times four, basically max. So now I'm at 155% base speed. That's a power there. Oh, come on, messing up these power timings. There's eight stations in this game, some are longer than others. Jerk. Yeah, the Leo ones launched their magic attack much sooner, much more used to that timing. In this game as well, you've got the grapple chain which allows you to attach on to ceilings, which you see in a minute. A little speed trick on right up. Like that. Ooh, okay. If I can get this parry right, I can show you an example of mid-air parry. Oh, no! What the? Oh, right, of course. Magic had worn out. Magic only lasts for two and a half minutes. That's probably why the jump was so much lower than usual. There you go. Oh, nice. That's a pretty good start. <laughs> Come on. Early morning runs. <laughs> Not my thing. Ah, okay. 
Well, that was a pretty bad start so far. I'll try my best later on. That's a lot for I can do a lot faster than that. And this is the first boss coming right up. There's a there's a possible method to do a two cycle. Yeah, got it. Nice. That makes up for it. Then there was a massive, ex massive explosion happened, and Jiro used his magic to protect himself, and somehow he sent 800 years into the future. Now this is an era where basically the bad guys have won. Yeah, this is an annoying part as well. If you mess up, there's only one checkpoint in this part of the stage. You have to start again otherwise. I can do a lot better than this. No more shenanigans. to destroy these jeeps pretty much as soon as possible otherwise if they get to their initial position the death animation is pretty much 10 times longer they take ages to die thankfully now i've got a power up i can one shot kill these Checkpoint. Okay, if I die, I basically carry on from this part here. And this is a pretty lengthy part, this is like two minutes nearly. If you know that, if you know that death earlier. near the end. Yeah, there you go. Boss time. Now this is another checkpoint. If I die here, start at this part, part here. Water magic. Nice. That's enough for two cycle. Single shurikens deal quite a lot of damage when powered up. Nearly, if not more, than a spin shuriken sometimes. Okay, now we've got some actual action. Brown ninjas can actually block a shot, but during their blocking phase they are actually vulnerable to another attack. so far, keeping my multiplier up high to defend the speed drops. Can I take a curse? Go ahead. Right. 
Most attacks in this game can be parried, but this feed cannot parry at all. Alright. I'll go down the lift here. It's a very short section again. And then comes a cutscene that I'm going to skip. Oops, not too many times. <laughs> this room is a very odd one. You have to pretty much damage boost your way through here. Don't know any other solution to go through here. But it's a good thing actually, because I need to kill myself in minutes. And that's why I don't want to parry there, because you be in there quite some time. Magic, only, well, water magic in particular, um, only lasts for two and a half minutes. By the time I enter this lift and finish it, my magic will run out. It'd be ba basically be a better idea to kill myself after the elevator part and then cast my magic again. I try not to die here if I can, well, in this part especially. I for this one, may drop it to 2 HP. Yeah, unfortunately this stage has quite a lot of, you could say, auto-scrolling-like sections. This stage, to make it a bit longer. 49 on the upper, well, very few of the upper stages have slow pace parts. Like, I've got 2 HP, so I can make a mistake if I mess it up, if I have one, just to say. Okay, there should be... Yeah, my magic's gone now, in case you haven't noticed. Nice. Okay, got one HP, now I'm gonna kill myself. You won't see it on the touch screen because of the stream layout, I think, but now I can use water magic again. Increase my base speed. It'd be useful for a boss fight coming right up as well later, so it has good purposes. So I have to cut the rope. Don't know why he did that. I don't know why he didn't do that for the first one. Maybe, well, I picked up another magic scroll partway through after going through the second lift. Now this is the third and final lift. And now I'm reliable to actually get the power up here without losing it. Because it's in between two steams. You'll see in a minute. It's not that one, it's like three quarters of the way through. But I found a strat to keep it. If you take regular damage and then fall into a trap, you take another damage. I think it's coming right up now. Oh, here it comes. Oh, it's not that one. It's this one here. Nice, no, got Now, in coming right up, you see utter destruction. Total destruction. Trick shot. Earth magic. This is the earth magic. It's very powerful, but it's very risky as well if you don't... There you go. It's done. Earth magic lasts for 22 seconds of positive effects, but then the next 8 seconds you receive negative effects. Negative effects to the point that you have 1 HP, your base speed is slow, your base attack is weaker, and you can't throw any shurikens. Basically it's an ultimate tool to kill bosses very quickly, but you have to do it fast. Train stage. This is the shortest stage in the game. Most of my runs are around the two minute mark for in game time. Yeah, touch screen t the touch screen of this game has an in game time, but we don't, I don't think you can see it on here. Ooh, come on. Oh, 
so we power that one. Okay, I got times two multiplier, so I'm a little bit faster. 135 percent. Some of you may recognize this, these enemies coming right off from Shinobi 3. You can actually hit quite a lot of shurikens on this one enemy to fill up your multiplier. Don't get here, I can save a little bit of time on the boss. This is the other part of the one, go left. That's it. Time to hold right. Okay, go one of those enemies, that's good. Nice. No damage, so I've now got my power up still. Again, just like the second boss, if you've seen that fight, this one's gonna go really, really fast. There he comes. RIP. And you can still hear the explosion. <laughs> oh. Jungle blood. This one is a pretty lengthy stage. It also introduces the most annoying ninja type in the game, the Grey Ninjas. They perform roly poly, but if you try and hit them with a shuriken, they can they pretty much counter-attack by performing an instant teleport followed by a dive kick. Pretty much a solution to say you can't spam Kunai every time. Yeah, this one here got another scroll so I can use magic again. Ooh, come on. There, there, there they are. As long as you don't spam the kunai, they're pretty much useless. That's going to be the boss for later on. Get the power up. Could be killed some of the enemies later on. Oh, those robots roll well down. They're pretty much immune to your projectiles. But they're also useless because they're the easiest enemies to parry. That's close. Here comes one of the two sub bosses in this stage. You only fight against it twice in the run. There you go. That's one down.
Oh, nice homing rockets. Automatic to run out, but there's another score here as well. Gonna slightly go left here because some of these jumps are really hard to time. There you go. Now I can carry on. If you jump from where I got the scroll, it's very hard to judge where you land. That's right, this that's really hard to judge where I was. I'm right here now, that's it. Come on. I hate this part of the stage, unfortunately. See one there. See one there. Okay, go the end. That's the other one down. You want to see those again? People may remember how in their first three years game they feature for gyro controls, and this is no exception. This is the only part of the run I have to use gyro controls. And now I'm not going to turn on 3D, that's impossible. It's impossible for me to do no damage or turn on 3D. Alright. Sometimes taking damage is not always a bad idea. I got I found a death later on to reuse magic unfortunately. I found a new consistent mountain strat coming right up for the boss. And if I did mess up I can do a save and quit and reload a previous checkpoint. Basically the chance of screwing up the next boss is very low now. Again, just like the horse section, when you go through the seven board section parts, you lose your magic. So I have to recast magic. But this part, we're coming right to it, that's not the boss. If I take hits, it doesn't really matter, it's just one step closer to a death abuse. As long as it's not like that bad. I hit a checkpoint here, but what I'm going to do now is kill myself, slow and surely, it's the fastest way. The reason for that is because right now I don't have any other spare magic, and there's no ninja scrolls anywhere nearby. Also, at the end of this area there's a power-up, so combining both earth magic and the power-up, I can destroy this boss quickly enough, so even with a little bit of air I can still kill it. The checkpoint is just down here. You may notice how much slower I am without water magic. That's why water magic is a must have for most of the areas in this one. Kill him in case the rocket hits me. Okay, got power up. Nice. Oh, yeah, that's why I'm supposed to hold left, not here, but next part. Alright, checkpoints reach. So if I do mess things up, I can reload this checkpoint without problems and still keep my power up. 
Let's try to go left dodge these missiles. Then use earth magic. Deal all was half of light already, that's how good it is with this combo. Down it goes. Stage 5 coming right up, it's the airport light stage, after Burnered. It's obviously a reference to a game after the Burner. There it goes. Nice dive. Alright. These golden soldiers are pretty tough. They're immune to your shurikens and they can kill them the when they stop spinning their blades or counter their blades with a parry. to get the platform formations most of the time. Alright. A filler room. That's it. Kind of right top, near the end of this area, I'll go to die. Or well, the thing is um as a consistent method to keep water magic a little bit longer if I die near the checkpoint. Oh yeah, you see orange numbers, that's because my multiplier is at max, so it's got a lot more splashy, you can say. Ooh, nice rocket again. Kill myself here. Now, when I use Mortar Mortar Magic again, I can pretty much use it till the end of this area. This bit's been a bit weird lately, but okay. Up there. Cool, got it. Okay, this part, this is why I died, so if I had Water Magic from the start, it wouldn't have enough time to do this bit. And water magic is also used for kunai reloading. If you look on the very top left of the screen, that's your current kunai count. Without water magic, if it goes to zero, it takes a little bit while to look, reload, you could say. But with water magic, reloading is very instant, even if you use up all five. Basically, the end of this happens when the airplane reaches to the very top and all the enemies in this section are gone. Okay, we're near the end now, because the airplane's reached its destination, and there we go. Again, I'm going to kill myself. Yeah, killing myself is a legit strat for this game. Because this place doesn't really have any benefit of using water magic. And also, if I get to the end of it, my water magic will be gone. So I'm getting another scroll so I can use water magic for the next area. And if you listen to music carefully, this is Afterburner. And oh yeah, there's a glitch as well. You can actually kill en well, damage en enemies much sooner than they appear. I'm going to mash the X button now. The Y button, I mean. Just slash. There it comes. There you go. Invisible enemy. Come on, 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 
Yeah, you can move on to the next section of the game on enemies, basically. Crouch guns. Oh yeah, nice, got it. I didn't get it that time. Yeah, there's yeah, okay, there's another two more enemies. And one more enemy should be here. Nice, got him. All right. Now I've got maximum score multiplier, and now I'm going to use water magic. So my base speed should be at 155% here. And also, this water magic cast should last me long enough until the end of the stage, as long as I don't die, basically. This part may remind you a lot of Shinobi 3, that part there. Especially the magic cannons. Alright, here comes one of the main bosses in this stage. Fushin Ninja. Down he goes. So even though I took damage, my score multiplier still at times 4 because of how quickly I can go up to. So it's not all that bad. This bit I've got to be careful trying not to get hit after picking up the power, which is nearby another boss. No, you're going down. No, no it's okay, I kept it. This boss is really annoying if you do not have... If you're not using water magic or power, you're going to have a very hard time. The only way you can hit this boss is using shurikens. If you combine water magic and power, this is a breeze. This only happens after a certain chunk of this health going down. Like that. This usually happens three or four times of this during the fight, so this is the second time. It may happen again. Okay, that's number three. Nice, no damage. Might as well get rid of him, increase my score multiplier. Oh nice, he can hit me. Get the power up there, there's another one point for There's a trap there. If I fall into that, I'll die, basically. Nice. Got power up. This boss again is going to be trivial with those two combined. Power up and earth magic for a win. Super soldier. Alright, here it goes. Down he goes. The boss actually has quite a lot of health and it's very vulnerable to its back. Alright, we have a five dollar donation from uh, some Greenowski guy. Oh, hi Jack. Keep it up, bro. You will be still asleep in England. <laughs> P.S. Pizza looks good in Sweden. It sure does. Pizza's awesome in Sweden. Kebab all over the place. It's best. Yeah, I've post been posting some of my photos on Facebook and made Jack jealous. <laughs> Okay, this stage is called Bar Shock. This is the longest stage of the run. And as the name suggests, there's a shark. Oh, 
This is also one of the few stages not to feature any ninjas, which is a good thing. No roly poly grade ninjas. Can't counter attack my moves. Get rid of that robot. Again, he's immune to. It's immune to spear and um, shurikens, technically. There's a mortar guy there below, so I can kill him in case he hits me. Yeah, there's actually loads of numbers in this stage. Throwing machete guys are a big pain in the butt as well. They can do an instant uppercut if you're above them. I know I played really bad in the first two stages, but hopefully the next few, i.e. from stages 3 to this stage, I've played a lot better. Well, stage 4 wasn't perfect again. The jumps in that stage are pretty dumb. I thought um, keeping power up would save time, but I found out that dying and using earth magic can one cycle, which power up alone doesn't do. Only earth magic can one cycle it. And doing this fight without aim magic or even on a higher difficulty is actually a big pain in the butt. When you play higher difficulties, if you get knocked back in the air, you cannot control him until he touches the ground. For beginner, you can regain control a few seconds later. So you can recover, basically. Oh, I didn't get it, but that's not too bad. Even if I did get the one cycle, it'd be a little bit of a problem later on because I should try and survive if I can with the one HP curse. Okay, but now you see, you may notice now on top left of the screen, my HP curse starts to begin. Well, I'm going to kill myself, so I don't even have water magic at that point. So now I'm going to use water magic. 4 HP, water magic active. Much better than Earth Magic Curse. This is basically part 2 of the stage. So many parries. It's a feel good. It feels really good if you can parry every attack. It's like a Street Fighter free bird strike. Good. Oh yeah, P.S. The shark is still alive. Nice. Okay, that's better. Those brains can explode upon contact, so I'll have to kill him. Oh. This part right here, it's best to not go too fast because you get killed by that crusher. Again, chain trick, let go, jump, chain again. Like I said, this is the longest stage in the game, so it's still, which is, I think we're pretty much halfway through now. I'm not going to pick up food, I probably might as well 
thing is, um, this phase is long enough that your water, your water magic will run out at one point, so better kill yourself eventually. Okay, now you can see more water badge is gone because two and a half minutes has gone past. That's how big this stage is. Well, turns out how long it is. Go down here, little shortcut. There's only there. Good boy. If you time these jumps right, you can basically have to jump to the other side to avoid the trap coming right up. Nice spot. Nearly three quarters of the way through now, roughly. After this bit, should be the so called slow moving lift section. Well, this one you can actually skip, technically, by doing this one, two. Nice, got it. Now, again, for boss fights, you need to use Earth Magic pretty much. You see why in a minute. So I have to kill myself there. That's the quickest way for me to kill myself at this point. That's a, uh, that's a beginner exclusive time saver because, because you can regain control if you take damage in the air. If you did on normal and high difficulty, you pretty much fall into death. Okay, if you've seen the helicopter boss fight, you may notice you can pretty much air juggle in it as well by doing this. Take note how Jiro exits this stage as well. He jumped up. Someone else needs him. What is your PB for this run? I've, I don't have exact time, but in my own timing, it's just under an hour. It's like 59 minutes or something like that. But I'll tell you one time I actually do it. This game's like, how can I say it? Not been the most consistent. I could hit 59, but I can't guarantee it for this run, let's say. This is stage 7, Shadow Temple. And also that previous stage was the last one to feature actual soldiers. From now on, this stage is pre pretty much nothing but ninjas. And the next stage is space aliens. You can do a clip there. There you go. Go through that platform. Oh, come on. Let's come on. Not close. Yeah, if I was playing that part in normal, I'd probably die if I was playing that part. Close. Even though I'm taking a lot of damage here, it's actually not a bad thing. This is one of the few stages in the game where there's hardly any magic scrolls. So the only alternative to not kill us, well, the only alternative is to kill yourself. You need to have some health because some parts are a little bit challenged during later on. But I need to just learn enough so I can quickly kill myself in one of them. The other part of the run, you have, to, you have to wait. That yellow metal like icon is basically a bonus game. You don't want to do that in this run. Again, this room is very, pretty much filler. Now we're in the temple. If you play Revenge or Shinobi or Shinobi 3, there's a maze part, and this is no exception. Oh, 
took around four damage or so. That's not bad. I've got enough health. I know the solution for this maze as well. You'll go top right. The images above the door is actually the room layout you go into next. Just in case. Nice gotch. Then we gotta go bottom right. Go to the very end of this room, coming right up. John rest not to press the X button because that's the button used to go through the doorways. Okay, eventually my water magic is about to run out. It's like two, two and a half minutes into a run now, so I'll go lose him in this very second. This is the only room I think where there's a Z icon, which is the room you have to go into. There it is. This is the final, this is pretty much the chamber to the final room of this stage. Oh, nice. Made notes as well. I don't even pick. I didn't pick up any magic scroll, so I'm going to slowly get my HP to one, and then during the start of the fire, I kill myself. Okay, one HP. So when I die in this next room, like back in here, it's not a boss fight. <laughs> Shadow Master. He has long hair. I think some of you should know your friends may recognize. Kill myself. <laughs> if you crouch at the right time and span shurikens, you can actually hit him in that part. Top left. Doesn't really matter. The attack patterns are the same, but where he hits is random. I think he's gonna miss. Yeah, that's the weirdest part. He goes away. Okay. During this part, you can deal a lot of damage. Got him. But when he's not doing his signature has been attack, and you kill him, he dies instantly. So it's really quick. But if you kill him during his hair spin attack, he dies a lot. His death animation is a lot longer. Which is a weird time saver. Like you play slow, but you kill him faster during the turn attacks. This is the final stage. There's a few death boosters here, not only to extend my water magic timer. But also make one section much more consistent because doing that section with water magic is actually very hard. You jump a lot too high, I think. And this this room only has one power, but in order to keep the power up and water magic at the same time, they're both very hard to do. I'm not sure I can do this. But what you have to do is do a double jump there, then slide and do a mid-air jump. That's really hard to do. Okay, here checkpoint here, so if I die it does not matter too much. Nice, got that. That's not bad, nice. Got the wall jump, sweet. Oh, don't do that. It's area two or three. This double jump grapple chain is pretty hard to do. Got it. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, got it this time. Do jumps here. Here comes on beginner exclusive time saver, thanks to regain control much sooner. Oh, yeah. 
In this stage, there's one very tough enemy as a regular foe. Not only they can block your shurikens, but if you try and throw in shurikens, they do a teleport instant uppercut, like that enemy there. They're the worst in this game. Fortunately, it's only in this stage that happens. Now, this is the part where the jump, the water magic is very hard to do, but fortunately, that's a checkpoint there. So I'm gonna die here, and I'm gonna do this without water magic. And then use it afterwards. And by then I should have enough time to finish the entire game. Like that. Okay. We're nearly at the end of this section actually. This stage is a lot shorter than Bioshock stage 6. Doesn't matter to one is. Okay, this is the lift to the final boss. Oh, the times looks pretty good actually. I could get sub one hour. Despite the sloppiness in the first two stages. His name's Orn. And this is the only boss fight in the run where I don't actually use Earth Magic at all because he has three bars of life. Basically, it's too long for Earth Magic to be used effectively. And like every quarter or so if his life's down, or every third, he summons two minions. There's a parry strat, but it's not always consistent. You can parry shot and counter slash every single one. You can do it like three times. Okay, you think he's gonna die? Nope. He's going to recover, regen his life. This is phase 2 of the fight. The reason why I'm not using Earth Magic. And there's a small frame win window after that force field move, you can actually damage it. Oh, nice. He actually spawned in the middle this time. He does this three times. Okay, last time. Oh, I didn't get it. Again, it's like a one frame window, that trick. Okay, that's phase two done. Final phase is like phase one, but he's on stairway speed. He shoots a lot faster. I tell you when to get ready on time. Okay, this should be the last time he sent his minions. He does dive kicks now every now and again. Okay, I tell you when. Time! That's a new PB! Thank you everyone. Wow, okay, that was faster than I expected after that sloppy first two stages, but all the other stuff went pretty well. Yeah, this game is very cheap to buy, if you're in the UK especially. It only costs like under seven pounds if you get it from Zavi. It's a really good game. There's a lot more features than what you see in the eight stages. There's challenge modes, street pass stages. Street pass stages are like challenge mode, but one hit. It's very good, it's got a lot of content for an underrated game. You should give it a shot. Alright, go ahead and follow Greenlink. Yes, my, my channel is Greenlink SDA. Um, you may see me again on Saturday, at around the same time for Gum and Clive, a downloadable eShop game that's developed in Sweden. And then sometime, a few hours later, I'll be running new to my brothers too. I'm the current world record holder. You should check the run out. It's nearly flawless. There's only one normal mistake. But other than that, I'll see you guys later. And that's the end of Shinobi. 
all my ninjas. And the next up is For the Wings by Bangara. And I believe we have a donation center for that. That is the big head mode. I need a lot more to donate to that one. You have like five minutes. I can do it whenever. You can do it whenever, okay, yeah. <laughs> 